In this video, we're going to learn how to read a specific line from a file using Python. So here I have a file with five lines of text in it. I want to be able to tell the Python program that I want to open file.txt and read line three, and I should get line three as output. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the file name. So we'll say file name is equal to input file colon. So we're going to prompt the user with the text file colon. The input function is going to return the string that the user enters, and we're going to store that into file name. Next, we'll prompt the user for the line number. So we'll say line number is equal to int input line colon. So again, we're going to prompt the user with the text line colon. The input function is going to return the string the user enters. Int is going to turn that into an int. And we're going to store that int into line number. Next, we can actually open up the file. So we'll say file is equal to open file name and then R. So open is going to open the file with this file name. The R here is going to open the file for reading because that's what we want to do. We want to read from the file and open is going to return the file object. Next, we can actually read the lines from the file. So we're going to say lines is equal to file dot read lines. So the read lines method is going to return all the lines of the file in a list. And the list is going to contain the lines as strings and the lines will be read in order. So index zero of the list will contain the first line. Index one of the list will contain the second line and so on. Now we're actually done with the file so we can close it. We'll say file dot close to close the file. Next, we'll extract the line we're looking for from the list of lines. So we'll say line is equal to lines at index line number minus one. So again, the reason we have line number minus one instead of just line number is that lists in Python are zero indexed, which means if the user enters line five, that line is going to be at index four of our list because list start at index zero which means the first line is at index zero. Now we can actually just print out the line. So we'll say print line. So we'll save this and we'll try it out. And remember, we've got this file here with these five lines in it. So we'll say Python d.py file.txt is the name of the file. And we'll try line number five first. And we get line five. We'll try it again, file.txt, We'll try line four and we get line four. So it appears to be working. There are some things we can do though to improve this. So for example, right here with line four, there's this extra new line here, or so it seems. So line five in our file here does not end with a new line, but line four does. There's a new line character at the end of this line. That new line character is what makes line five appear on the next line of our text editor. We're probably not interested in that new line at the end of the line. We could chop it off if it's there using a method called rstrip. So what we'll do is right here, when we're accessing the line, we'll say dot rstrip, and then we'll put in the new line character as an argument. What this method will do is chop off that new line from the end of our string, if it's there. Let's try it again. So we'll run our program, we'll say file.txt, and we'll say line five. And line five is the same as before. Let's try it now with line four again. And now we get line four, but that extra new line character has been chopped off. We could also make sure the line number that's been requested is actually in the file. So for example, make sure the line number does not exceed the total number of lines in the file at all. So what we could do is get the total number of lines by using the len function with our lines list. This is gonna give us back the total number of lines in the file. And then we could do a check. We could say if the line number that's been requested is greater than the total number of lines, then we can print out an error. We could say print string 
total lines and will output the total number of file lines to inform the user that, hey, there's only this many lines in the file at all. So this here is going to do a concatenation between this string here and this string here. And this str here is going to convert the int value for the total number of lines into a string so that this concatenation can take place. We'll also print out the line number that was requested. So we'll say print can't read line and we'll append the line number that was requested followed by an exclamation mark. And then we'll have an else case for when the line number is in the file. So we'll try this out now. We'll save this. We'll run our program. We'll try file.txt and we'll try line number six, knowing that our file only contains five lines. And we get five file lines, can't read line six. This way the user will know why the program failed. We could also put this logic into a function. So we could call the function again and again to read different lines of potentially different files. So for example, we could actually take this logic out for now. And we'll say def read line f name and lnum. So the f name parameter is going to be the file name of the file. The lnum parameter is going to be the line number from that file. We'll update the names of those variables in our code here. So we'll change this to lnum and we'll put lnum here and then lnum here. And then we'll tab over all of this logic to make it part of the function body here. So we could again prompt the user for the file name and the line number and use the values provided when calling the function. So we could say file name is equal to input file colon and then line number is equal to int input and we'll say line colon and then we could call the function by saying read line the file name and the line number and if we save this and run our program here and we put in file.txt and line three we get back line three and it's working much like it did before but because the logic is now in a function we could call the function multiple times with different arguments. So for example, we could say read line and we'll still say file.txt, but now we'll say line two. And then we'll call read line again with file.txt and then we'll say line five. So we can save this, run our program, and now we get line two and line five. We could also use a try block and an accept block to try to catch any exception that occurs when accessing the file. So for example, we could say try colon, and we'll put this code into a try block. Now, if an exception occurs, we can catch it and we can have our accept block deal with it. We'll just print out an error message. We'll say error reading file, and we'll use a return to stop the function. Now, if we try to use a file name that doesn't exist, so for example, bad file name, and we try to save this and run it, now we get error reading file. So this is how we can read a specific line from a file using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.